G'day, my name is Rod Sherwin from Tap for Health and welcome to another EFT Advanced Approaches video. My goal in working with clients is always to make it as gentle and tearless as possible. And I'm never really sure what a client has come to see me with. They might sit down and say, well, I've got this really intense issue and I don't know if it's, you know, they kick their leg coming up the stairs and it still hurts or whether it was 10 years of child abuse. So my goal always to make it as gentle and tearless as possible. And I've touched on some other videos in this series, such as the movie technique and the tell a story technique. But another one I like to use is pattern interrupts, which is a concept from neuro-linguistic programming from NLP. And a pattern interrupt is anything that changes your emotional state. And it can be a visual interrupt, it can be an audio kinesthetic, interrupt or it can be a kinesthetic interrupt. Just something that changes your focus which will change your emotional state. And if I know I'm going to work with a very intense issue for a client, I like to set up an interrupt that we can use in case the emotion gets too intense for them. Because sometimes they'll start to tell me about a horrendous issue and it, it can overpower them. I worked with one client where severe child abuse and whenever they actually started to talk about the issue, they were down on the floor in a fetal position. I could not reach in to tap on them. They could not um, break out of that position. So I actually had to come up with a way of making sure that they would just brush against a memory. We would figure out what the emotion is and we could then use EFT, the emotional freedom techniques, the tapping on the acupressure points, to clear that issue. But we didn't have to keep her there. And one of the things you can use for pattern interrupts is a happy memory, a happy memory that you have, a happy place. And you know, my favorite question when I start with this is, do you have a dog? Do you have a pet? Pets are always really good for happy thoughts. You know, a dog that's <laughs> laughing and playing with you, it's pretty hard to stay upset when, when you remember a really happy time with your dog. Or it could be a child, or it could be a holiday, or it could be just some happy memory. And you ask the client or the person you're working with before you get started, look, do you have a dog? Do you have kids? Is there, a, is there a happy memory we can use? And they'll give you one. I mean, one of my clients, it was singing in a choir. You know, I really enjoyed that day. Right, think about singing in the choir. So what you would do then is ask them, now just, just briefly think about the intense emotional experience you have. And they might go, oh, well, when I think about it, I, I, I'm very scared. And you go, that's great, let go of that now. What was your dog doing yesterday, chasing that bone? So you're using that memory to shift their focus away from that intense event. You don't want them to stay there. In fact, you don't need them to stay there. It's one of the beauties of EFT. So once you've got the, the top emotion from that event, it could be, you know, fear, right. Even though I still have some fear around that event, I choose to feel safe and secure. This remaining fear event that you do a bunch of tapping around just that top emotion. Then you might talk about them, their dog some more. Now, you may need to explain the client why you're actually talking about this horrendous event and then talking about their dog, but just explain to them, we don't need you to live there. We don't need to have it that intense for the whole time. This is not traditional talk therapy where you need to relive the event again and again and possibly only make it worse. We're not into that. That's not what this is about. This is about identifying the emotion for an intense event and then shifting their focus away from it, using some happy memory. But once you've identified the emotion on that event, then you tap through it, you check in, how are they doing? Great, have them think about the issue again. What's the emotion you think of off the top of the event? They, they'll tell you that emotion, just check if it's not too intense, right? Um, maybe it's feeling helpless, right? Oh, that was an ex And I've used this technique with somebody who was, you know, tied down in a bed and tortured for hours. So we were able to just brush against the memory, get the emotion off the top of it, think about something else, but then do a round of tapping on whatever that emotion was. And as we continued to just brush against the memory, think about something else, do a couple of rounds of tapping, brush against the memory again, what's the emotion? Oh, think about some happy thing. Anytime you see them, that, that emotion starting to grab them, shift their focus, get, do a pattern interrupt to get them away from that emotion and then do some rounds of tapping. You've got to do this with rapport, with being in connection with the client, and you don't have to just use pets. You can use all sorts of completely unrelated things. An example is, where is your car parked? Here you are talking about this intense event and you ask them where their car parked. You're changing their focus. And one you really have to be in rapport with to do this is what color underwear are you using? You cannot ask that question and not interrupt someone's pattern. 
but please remember you have to be in rapport, have a good connection with the client or the person you're working with. Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more of these EFT advanced approaches in the future.